freshman from Bloomington, Indiana. Here is Swinford downstairs. Now he'll kick it out to the wing. Back inside, Pryor puts it home for two. We're tied up a minute into the first half. Now here is Martin with a bounce pass inside to his teammate Swinford, and he finishes at the rim. Swinford now opening up the game very strong, and we're all tied up at four. Swinford, nice drive and a nice finish with the left hand. Fury Swinford. Riley open for a three for Sanford. It rims out and rolls in. Wow. Talk about shooter's roll. In the final round, this game being the final round of the first round, final game of the first round of the NJCAA. Dribble stolen away. And now here comes Milwaukee the other way, kicking it out to Lee in the corner for three. Shepard now from the foul line. That one's too strong. Lee the rebound, passes it behind the back, now up ahead to Sanford who finishes at the rim. What a play. On to the offensive end, Milwaukee Area Tech not wasting any time. We may have our first nominee of the Relation Insurance play of the game. Here's Sanford again, ahead of the defense, he lays it in. 25-18. Martin. Inside to Swinford, and he finishes right along the low block. Working out in the second attempt, but keeping the possession alive is Dillard. Now here's Sanford. Back to Pryor. Off the glass and in. Beautiful turnaround for Pryor using the glass. The glass is your friend. This is a team, as we've mentioned, that likes to play up-tempo, and we talked about the amount of points. They are number one in the NJCAA in points and field goals per game. As there from the corner, Sanford knocks down another three to give Milwaukee a six-point lead. Sixth team foul on Ancilla, as that was the second on Al Haskell. The NJCAA level is difficult and certainly not easy as Webb with a nice move from the wing, driving to the rim with a nice layup. Sanford, posting up against Shepard. Now Lee, top of the key. The three is good. Now here's Walker again for three. Sanford in transition, Pryor again. Making the steal and then instantly going up. Mike Green playing well, but at the other end, terrible transition defense for Ancilla. Haskins averaging 10 a game during the regular season. Haven't really called his number much in the first half. Straight on three for Briley is good. Anyway, blocked away by Swinford. Kick out to the rim and the finish by Swinford at the other end after the assist from one of his teammates. Down by 18. Anyway, got bumped down to the floor by Briley. No call. Kick out for a three. Is good by Martin. They're within 14. A little, that, little bit of momentum the last couple of minutes. Yeah, that could be a big momentum builder there. And just on the other end, Milwaukee answers. Josh Alcindor had probably a foul against him as he was mugged at midcourt, but instead Sanford at the other end flushes it down with two hands. All alone prior, a collapse of defense there by Ancilla, and he's able to flush it down with two hands once again. Sanford to Swinford to Pryor. And that's really been the three players that for the most part have been Milwaukee's offense instead of trying to dunk the ball. Sometimes that lay-in is actually a better play. Martin on the drive and the finish. Speaking of. 80-65. And they have had mild success in doing that. Not out of the game just yet. Here's Sanford. Webb. Got a three. Webb. Another three. He answers right back. 
Sibla now going with a full court man-to-man. -man. Trying to force a turnover. And a one-hand slam by Swinford. Try to get that corrected for you. Here's Lee on the drive. And one for Melvin Lee. We've talked about Mike Green, how athletic he has been, and certainly extremely impressive on the side for Ancilla. 18 points. Justin Briley. It's a little bizarre to end the game. But yeah. Nonetheless. It is Milwaukee with a 101-87 win over Ancilla.